just kind of picking up where we left off last time. We was putting the brakes on. We had some issues with the caliper mounting brackets hitting the housing ends. Went in here, ground these down just a little bit. Had plenty of room, went ahead and both of them up. Got the calipers on. We still gotta shim these out right, but I gotta get our brake lines hooked up first and go ahead and bleed the brakes before we can shim them out correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the other side and see what we got going on over there. So we're running into the same issue on the other side. This uh, caliper mounting bracket's also hitting this uh, rear end where it bolts up. So we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a little clearance on that. Try to get these dudes bolted on. Okay, so I'll pause for a second here just to see what we got for our ground too much off. Trying to get this bolt hole lined up a little bit. See exactly, uh, it's actually that second hole. See exactly where we need to take some more off. So you can see it's tied here, it's tied at the bottom. So I'm gonna work on those areas. Try not to take as much out of the middle. Take as little off as possible. I don't wanna weaken anything structurally here. So get going again. Now that we got these uh, fitted up, we can go ahead and bolt them on up. Get ready to put our brakes on. Now these uh, bolts here, they're not a standard bolt, they call that a T-bolt. That helps you do this. When you put it in, it can't turn on you here. Some people weld these in, that makes it nice as well, that way you can't lose them. I got that done on a, another car of mine. Just a few little tips to make stuff handy if you got time. I don't really want to weld these in. One, I'd have to drag the welder over here. Two, I don't know how long I'll have this rear end housing in here, so I may use this on a different project later on down the road. Now when you uh, tighten these up, same thing as a wheel, be sure and do a crisscross pattern. That bearing isn't pulled in 110%. I got it right up to the O-ring. So I'm gonna do the last little sixteenth of an inch for these plates. It gets kind of snug in there once you get all the all ring and everything going up into the housing. Got a bolt hole not lining up real well over here. I may have to ream it out just a tad. Which isn't no big deal. These things have been drilled and cut on a hundred times before. You see that little piece of metal holding me up right there. I'll get a little burr bit and clean that out. Get that bolt stuck through and we'll be good to go. Milwaukee electric die grinder, lifesaver. All right, so we're gonna put the passenger side brakes on. Caliper here. Got a pad, got our last roller, got our mounting bolts here for the caliper, 
our fittings, and here's the shims I was speaking of earlier. You can uh, actually adjust these up when you bolt them on. You can shim them in and out to make sure it's running perfectly true in the center of the rotor. That way you don't have any drag going down the track. Get that uh, all put on and see what we got. I'm just sticking these on there to pull the rotor up snug against the axle flange. Let me put the brakes on. That's semi going to be where it's at. I can pull it up against the axle flange. That way it's going to be located where it's at while it's running. It's a really nice thing about strange brakes. The pads just slide right in. You don't have to take the caliper off or anything. Makes super quick brake pad change is really easy because they use a soft compound on these. So if you get on the brakes hard, it uh, don't take very long to wear those dudes out. Now for everyone's favorite part, filling up the rear end fluid. I hate doing this more than anything, I swear. I got this little tool here, it makes it a little bit easier. But I got it. I got this little funnel system, makes it a little bit easier. Comes with this adapter to fit on the rear end fluid. Also works on uh, the bigger bottles of oil and stuff of that that nature. Screw that on there like so. Oh yeah. 